United States, a Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion Laureate supports treatment of COVID-19 patients worldwide. The U.S. Agency for International Development, or USAID, is donating 18 million U.S. dollars to help 11 nations increase their availability of life-saving medical oxygen equipment. The beneficiaries of these vital devices in treating COVID-19 cases, as well as technical training, are Afghanistan, Bolivia, Ecuador, Ghana, Guatemala, Haiti, Honduras, Kenya, Mozambique, Peru, and Tajikistan. Previously, USAID and the US Department of State had already allocated over 1.6 billion US dollars to the pandemic challenge as the nation continues to be the top contributor to global health care. Our deep gratitude and God bless you, the United States government, for your generous assistance. In heaven's boundless love, may more lives be saved as we shift towards an era of unconditional love. Greenland's glaciers may melt much faster than expected. A team of scientists based in Denmark and the United Kingdom have estimated that the potential ice loss from Greenland's three largest outlet glaciers is between three to four times more than even the highest previous predictions. This will be enough melted ice to bring sea levels up by a devastating 1.3 meters, according to the paper released in the journal Nature Communications. The conclusions were established by analyzing historical photographs and additional data to determine how much ice was lost from 1880 to 2012. It was discovered that even when global temperatures were significantly lower than current ones, large amounts of ice melted, causing an 8.1 mm sea level rise. Our sincere appreciation, scientists. We pray that all people will take earth-protecting measures to limit global warming, first by switching to a benevolent vegan diet in divine wisdom. Kenya, a Shining World Leadership Award for Protection Laureate, grants new land for nature conservation. Located in the capital's metropolitan region, the Nairobi National Park has received a land area of 809 hectares from the Kenyan government to establish a vital wildlife corridor. Connected with other surrounding preserved areas, the total protected territory has now increased to more than 19,800 hectares. There, animals such as endangered black rhinos, giraffes, buffaloes, lions, cheetahs, leopards and hyenas are guarded by the Kenya Wildlife Service. We join to celebrate your wise conservation efforts, Kenyan government, Nairobi National Park, and Kenya Wildlife Service. May all nations share the noble goal of safeguarding our treasured animal co-inhabitants and natural world in the mercy of the Providence. Study finds how plastics and acidification jointly threaten oceans. An international research team led by the University of Tsukuba in Japan and the University of Plymouth in the United Kingdom has revealed that the presence of harmful bacteria increased when they live on plastics in a more acidic ocean environment. The experiment was conducted underwater near the Japanese island of Shikini, where CO2 is known to fan into the sea. The scientists immersed plastic bottles in the water for three weeks and found that rising CO2 levels negatively affected the bacteria which are beneficial for carbon cycling. Meanwhile, other bacteria that cause disease to coral reefs multiplied, deepening concerns about the combined threat that acidifying oceans and plastic pollution have on marine ecosystems. A big thanks for the report, all researchers involved. In heaven's uplifting grace, may we all put forth our best efforts to save our fragile oceans for future generations. Big-hearted boy raises funds for charity by meditating. Five-year-old Bond Hill of New York, United States, has raised over $29,500 US dollars for charity by meditating for a personal record of 24 minutes in one sitting on live stream. The number 24 was in honor of the late US basketball star Kobe Bryant, who wore jersey number 24 and was also a meditator. Bond has been practicing meditation, which he learned from his mother, for around five minutes every day since he was 18 months old. Initially, his goal was to raise 2,000 US dollars, but by meditating longer and with help from friends who joined him, the larger amount was reached. The money was donated to the Coalition for the Homeless to help buy Christmas toys for homeless children. What an impressive accomplishment, Bond Hill and supporters. May God bless your diligent practice as you help to spread peaceful energy in celestial oneness. 
Vegan Fried Chicken launches in the United Kingdom. Matthew Glover, who founded the UK-based vegan-promoting non-profit Veganuary, has established a vegan fried chicken company called VFC in partnership with chef Adam Lyons, who created the recipe. This includes pieces and fillets of delectable fried vegan chicken in original and spicy flavors. The company's mission states ours is an act of positive rebellion against a system that has brought us climate change, environmental destruction, factory farming, and slaughterhouses. Made with wheat flour, the products sell online at the moment, but a global expansion is planned, and the price will eventually be lower than animal-based chicken. Our hearts are warm at your noble mission, VFC, Matthew Glover, and Adam Lyons. In divine benediction, may you soon reach your goals as vegan brands like yours become household names worldwide. Animal Welfare Group rescues more bears in Aulak, also known as Vietnam. Animals Asia, a Shining World Compassion Award recipient, has freed two female Asian black bears from a bile extracting farm in northern Aulak or Vietnam. Storm and Torrent, who were named in commemoration of those affected by recent floods in the country, had endured painful captivity for about 7 and 18 years, respectively. Having witnessed Animals Asia's loving care towards Storm and Torrent, the reformed bear farmer pledged to encourage others to follow suit and stop bear bite operations. Having rescued 222 bears in the nation to date, in 2017, the organization established an agreement with the government to stop the cruel and illegal practice within the next few years. Our tearful gratitude, Animals Asia, and the changed farmer. May Storm and Torrent be blessed with many healthy and joyful years as we pray for the freedom of all innocent lives in heaven's elevating kindness.